We are back with a story new at 11. Imagine standing water in your backyard constantly. That's what some homeowners in Southampton County are dealing with. So they called 10 on your side. We sent Jason Marks to check it out, and he filed this report before heading to breaking news. <laughs> Most people don't need boots to walk around their backyard. Oh, mine is still soaked and smell like that swamp. But Cheryl Reed's home isn't like most. You can't walk around. You cannot come into your backyard and enjoy your country living out here. As you can see, the water never leaves their Southampton County property. So the water comes out of the ditch over here and runs all the way across. The water is coming from this small drainage ditch. At first glance, it looks so serene. Ten years ago, it used to be so beautiful back here. But with a little rain, the flow isn't so tranquil. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. I mean, it's, it's just a mess. Even more of a mess is trying to figure out who's responsible for the four mile long ditch built so rainwater could run off nearby farms. It's a frustration. It's a frustration because you, you have gone to everybody that you know to go to to get something done and well, this is not my part. Well, this is not my part. Well, this isn't mine. Well, that isn't mine. Reed believes it's a VDOT issue. Ten on your side called VDOT, who says it's not theirs. Crews, though, have been out to help clear debris and make sure all pipes are clean. Another thought is this downed tree, which could be altering the water flow. Ten on your side called Southampton County officials. But they tell us they have no jurisdiction over the ditch and it's up to homeowners to keep it clean. I don't have a problem fixing anything that's mine, but I know this is not a homeowner's issue. Reed says the problem is only getting worse. Ugh. Meaning she'll continue to walk as if she has suction cups attached to her boots until the problem is fixed. It's awful. It is just really awful. I mean, I don't know anybody that would want to live in this. I really don't. Jason Marks reporting the county said it does not maintain any ditches and if one property owner has a tree down over a ditch, it's up to that property owner to clear it. Reed says the problem is much deeper than a tree down. Of course, you can count on 10 on your side to continue to look into who's responsible and what is causing this issue.